Like the mothers would get a big skipping rope. Well, it wasn't a skipping rope, it was what they tied the, lo- the, on the stuff on the back of the lorries with. And he'd skip, turn it up, and all the kids in the square would go on to this rope. And it wouldn't be for like five or ten, it's been about an hour, two hours. Yeah. Or to get all the kids together and the babies in the pram, and he'd go to Springfield Park, and he'd have a picnic, a bottle of orange juice and two busties, and he'd think it was absolutely wonderful. And then as I got older, I used to love the bats, the Harold Davis bats. Where was that? It's of course where, where the, uh, the new bungalows are now built. It was actually there. And everyone went there six weeks of the summer holiday. Yeah. You'd go there and you'd be there for hours, your eyes would be killing you. But you just loved it. You'd come out of there and you'd come back home. And like um, in the summer, you'd have a fete, a summer fete in Cardinal Lahina. Where's is that like, what's that, like a building or something? No, it was, it was a school, a Catholic school, it still is today. And it was great, it was lovely, they'd stamp your hands. I mean, now you probably get in poisoning, but then days they'd stamp your hand and you, you keep <laughs> it on your hand for days. You know, I went there, that's my group. <laughs> and then I went to look at community school. Yeah. So it's so, still there today, like? No, no, it's being pulled down now. What? It started off as Creed Hall, yeah. secondary modern. And it was split in half, and the boys went to the bottom lot by Saturday Road, and the girls went to the top lot by the top of Pinch Lane. Yeah. And you were never into that, and it was big for the separate. And then everybody was going on about community copy and schools. So they decided to have next Pinch Lane to use communism. And it was crack at first, I didn't like it. Because yeah. it was so big, and everyone liked from Dove, Dovecott School and Colwell School and St. Dove School went there. So it was like on May 5th, you the cock of Dovecott, and we'll have a fight. And like by the time the second year come, I was definitely a tomboy. I was the one who was... My mum always told me, if the teacher asks you something, answer them. So one day, this teacher said to me, Elizabeth, have you ever spoke French? I said, no, miss. What do you think it's all about French? France. I went, my dad said, do you frogs? <laughs> and I got an hour's detention every night to learn about France. <laughs> and to this day, all I can say is, I don't know if you can say, mademoiselle, je m'appelle Elizabeth, je m'appelle Albert, et la fenêtre, la porte, la pencil, et la somme, la table. And it means the basket's under the desk. But can you imagine going to France these days? And someone going, and you're going to them, et la somme, la table. And they go, no, you don't have to eat your dinner under the table, you're going to have it on top. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks for getting interviewed, and it was great talking to you. Okay, B, you're welcome.